In spite of the ordinarily known significance of water in our bodies, numerous athletes don't truly consider the impacts of hydration during and after athletic rivalry and preparation. Water keeps up blood volume, controls body temperature, and is engaged with muscle withdrawals. Sweating is directed by the autonomic nervous framework and is controlled unknowingly by the hypothalamus, the structure in the brain that manages the body's state of affairs. Perspiring is the body's essential method of keeping up ideal body temperature. Expending fluids recharges the liquids lost during exercise. Re-establishing liquids keeps up typical muscle work, forestalls a lessening in physical execution, and diminishes the danger of warmth stress. The side effects of exertional heat stress are coma, diarrhea, hyperventilation, tachycardia, seizures, hypotension, and vomiting. In spite of these genuine impacts, numerous athletes don't truly think about the impacts of hydration on athletic execution. A loss of sweat equivalent to 2% of body weight causes a recognizable lessening of mental and physical performance. A decrease of 5% or a greater amount of body weight during physical exercises may diminish the limit with respect to work by generally 30%. Notwithstanding dehydration influencing the limit with regards to work, rates of perspiration more noteworthy than 2% of body weight expands the danger of gastrointestinal issues, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Lack of hydration may cause a loss in blood volume, diminished skin bloodstream, diminished sweat rate, diminished warmth dissipation, expanded core temperature, and an expanded pace of glycogen use. The most probable physiological system influencing an individual's maximal aerobic force or VO2 max and henceforth athletic execution is one's maximal cardiac yield. As dehydration lessens plasma volume and consequently builds blood thickness, focal venous weight diminishes and decreases the measure of blood coming back to the heart. During top athletic force, these progressions can diminish the measure of blood entering the heart during diastole, the stage in the cardiac cycle where the heart unwinds and loads up with blood. Diminished blood entering the heart during diastole diminishes the measure of blood that may conceivably leave the heart during systole, the stage where the heart contracts, thus diminishing cardiac yield. An expanded core temperature during a dehydrated state is joined by a bigger sweet-smelling amine reaction, potentially prompting an expanded pace of glycogen breakdown in muscles. An expanded pace of glycogen breakdown may add to an expanded degree of exhaustion in the muscles utilized during the athletic action. The breakdown of glycogen during training prompts an intracellular increment of acids, basically lactic acid. As lactic corrosive is created by the breakdown of glycogen, pH diminishes causing skeletal muscle exhaustion. In addition to skeletal muscle weariness, studies from the Florida State University tried athletes' muscle development during strength exercise over a time of three distinct states, euhydrated, decently dehydrated which is around 2.5% of body weight and fundamentally dehydrated which is 5% of body weight. Scientists drew the athlete's blood and inspected certain molecules straightforwardly corresponded to muscle development. The athletes in a dehydrated state had an expanded degree of cortisol, which goes after certain enzymatic receptors in the body lessening the degree of testosterone, the essential hormone required for muscle development. Moreover, expanded cortisol focus decreases the measure of testosterone discharged as a reaction to obstruction explicit strength exercises. Regardless of whether you're a genuine athlete or basically work out for amusement, it's imperative to remain hydrated. Great hydration implies getting the perfect measure of water previously, during, and in the wake of training. Water controls your body temperature and greases up your joints. It causes transport supplements to give you vitality and keep you healthy. In case you're not hydrated, your body can't perform at its maximal potential. You may feel tired, have muscle spasms, wooziness, or different genuine side effects. Water hydration is a key element to improving health. A basic method to ensure you're remaining appropriately hydrated is to check your urine. In the event that your urine is typically vapid or light yellow, you are in all probability all around hydrated. Dull yellow or golden hued urine can be an indication of dehydration. What is the proper amount of water that should be consumed when working out? There are no precise guidelines for how much water to drink while training since every body is extraordinarily unique. You have to consider factors including your sweat rate, the warmth, and mugginess in your condition, and to what extent and hard you are working out. 
The American Council on Exercise has recommended the accompanying essential rules for drinking water previously, during, and in the wake of training sessions. Drink 17 to 20 ounces of water 2 to 3 hours before you begin working out. Drink 8 ounces of water 20 to 30 minutes before you begin exercising or during your warm-up. Drink 7 to 10 ounces of water each 10 to 20 minutes during training. Drink 8 ounces of water close to 30 minutes after you exercise. Competitors might need to quantify how much liquid they lose during exercise to get an increasingly explicit estimation of how much water to drink 16 to 24 ounces of water for each pound of body fluid lost. There are a few things to think about. Lack of hydration happens when you lose more liquid than you consume. At the point when your body needs more water, it can't work appropriately. Parchedness can run from gentle to serious. Side effects of dehydration can incorporate the accompanying. Hard, quick heartbeat. Absence of perspiring. Dry mouth. Muscle cramps. Sickness or heaving. Wooziness or dizzy inclination. Side effects of extreme dehydration can incorporate mental disarray, shortcoming, and loss of awareness. You ought to get crisis medical consideration promptly in the event that you have any of these symptoms. Presently let's discuss sports drinks. For the vast majority, water is all that is expected to remain hydrated. Be that as it may, if you will be practicing at a high intensity for longer than 60 minutes, a sports drink might be useful. The nutrients, calories, and potassium in sports drinks can give vitality and electrolytes to assist you with performing for a more extended time frame. Pick a sports drink shrewdly. They are frequently high in calories from included sugar and may contain elevated levels of sodium. Additionally, check the serving size. One container may contain a few servings. If you drink the whole container, you may need to twofold or significantly increase the sums given on the sustenance realities label. A few sports drinks contain caffeine. If you devour a sports drink that contains caffeine, be mindful so as not to add an excess of caffeine to your eating routine. Caffeine may cause a diuretic impact on your body. This implies you may need to urinate all the more regularly. When does dehydration reach the need to see a physician? You should see a physician promptly in the event that you have side effects of heat stroke, dehydration, or heat exhaustion. You ought to likewise observe a doctor in the event that you have side effects of an uncommon condition called hyponatremia. These incorporate swelling of the feet and hands, headache, confusion, and vomiting. What exactly is heat sickness? Warmth sickness can happen when your body is dehydrated and can't cool itself successfully during workouts in blistering or muggy climate. There are three phases of heat sickness. Warmth cramps. Warmth fatigue. Heat stroke. Indications of heat cramps remember agonizing muscle fits for the back, stomach, arms or legs. Indications of heat exhaustion are increasingly genuine. They can incorporate swoon or feeble emotions, sickness, migraine, quick heartbeat, and low blood pressure. The most genuine heat-related sickness is heat stroke. Side effects can incorporate high body temperature, higher than 104 degrees Fahrenheit, quick heartbeat, flushed skin, quick breathing, and conceivably even insanity, loss of cognizance, or seizures. You ought to get crisis medical consideration quickly on the off chance that you experience any of the side effects of heat stroke. Untreated heat stroke can prompt fatality. Is there such thing as drinking too much water? This relies upon your body and the sort of action you are doing. Converse with your family physician on if you have inquiries concerning the perfect measure of water to consume while working out. Here are a few important questions that you may want to ask your physician. Does height influence hydration? Am I more in danger of getting got dried out? What is the most ideal path for me to forestall parchedness? What amount more water would it be a good idea for me to drink when I am working out? How much water would it be a good idea for me to drink every day? While drinking enough water may appear to be a straightforward activity, it impacts basically every part of sports performance. Remaining hydrated expands vitality, improves development, recuperation and spryness, thermoregulation, and helps in mental clearness and movement, all of which can improve physical performance and lessen the danger of wounds, says Carla Geiger, an enlisted dietitian, and board-insured authority in sports dietetics at the Athletic Health Sports Institute. 
Shouldn't something be said about hydration for child athletes? Pretty much every estimation of performance, agility, strength, reaction time, aerobic endurance, speed, power, diminishes with as meager as 2% dehydration, clarifies Geiger. The positive aspects of remaining hydrated are Improved dissemination. Remaining hydrated likewise improves bloodstream and dissemination and consequently the conveyance of oxygen and supplements to working muscles. Great hydration additionally helps expel metabolic side effects and waste from muscles, while supplanting the water that is lost through perspiration. Controlled blood pressure. Remaining hydrated keeps up blood pressure during training so your heart doesn't work more enthusiastically to keep up typical blood pressure. Improved muscle work. Hydrated muscles work superior to dehydrated muscles. How much water should athletes consume per day? Liquid needs fluctuate dependent on action, power, ecological conditions, body size of the athlete, and preparing status. The more profoundly prepared an athlete is, the more the individual in question will sweat and require more water. To keep up ideal hydration for the duration of the day, youthful athletes should drink one half to one ounce of water for every pound of body composition. To keep up top performance during workouts, limit water weight reduction to close to 2% of your body weight. This implies a 100-pound athlete ought to reduce close to 2 pounds during a training session. Geiger urges athletes to drink a lot of water in the hours paving the way to practice. Keep taking 4 to 6 major swallows of water each 15 to 20 minutes during exercise. Subsequent to working out, consume 24 ounces of water for each pound of water weight you lose during your exercise. Could adequate hydration reduce the risk of injury for young athletes? Drying out adds to muscle exhaustion, which can expand the hazard for injury, says Geiger. Remaining satisfactorily hydrated can help lessen muscle fatigue and diminish the danger of injury. As athletes train, the center body temperature rises. Accordingly, the body sweats to disseminate overabundance heat so it doesn't overheat. Remaining hydrated replaces the water lost through sweating and is basic for thermoregulation, assisting with forestalling cramps, heat fatigue, and warmth stroke, says Geiger. Which is better for athletes, sports drinks or water? If youthful athletes are competing for one hour or less, water is commonly adequate to keep hydrated. Sports drinks might be suggested in specific circumstances including when unreasonable sweating happens, for example being a substantial sweater. Contending or practicing in outrageous ecological conditions, for example, high warmth and dampness. Participating in serious training sessions. Exercises enduring longer than 60 minutes. In these circumstances, specialists suggest a sports drink containing at any rate 110 to 240 mg of sodium for every 8 ounce serving. This will supplant liquid and electrolytes lost through sweat. Following your rate of sweat. Realizing an athlete's sweat rate is significant when observing hydration. Sweat rate is the sum or rate at which an individual perspires, to ascertain rate of sweat, measure weight when a training session. The distinction in the weight shows how well the athlete is remaining hydrated and whether it's inside the healthy rules. The weight distinction in addition to any fluids expended during exercising rises to the sweat rate. Understanding this number will manage the measure of fluid required during the practices or competitions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips, information and advice from Wellness World.